So in order to design a market research, uh, these are the steps that you will uh, uh, follow. You need to set the research objectives. You need to figure out the sampling method. Uh, what kind of interview method you're going to use, the type of research, uh, and then you have to design the questions. And then finally, you have to do the analysis of this data, right? Uh, we are not going to spend a lot of time on data and how to do data analysis in this course, because there is another module uh, where we, we, we teach about um, information, knowledge, data, data analysis and all of that. Right. So this is the sampling uh, techniques that I, I mentioned earlier, right? Uh, there are different prob probability and, and, and... So let, let's look at e each of them, right? So the first one is a uh, simple random sample. So you have you know, you have a large number of people, maybe, uh, you know, you have a database of some sort of people. Um, you will give them numbers, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, right? You will give them numbers and you will just uh, pick random numbers, right? So you get, there are softwares that you can uh, generate random numbers, right? So you press a button, and it gives uh, 62. So you will pick the 62nd or the person with the six, number 62, right? And again, you press a button, it will say five. So you pick, pick the person number five, right? So it's completely random, very simple, very random, right? The other, another uh, approach is the systematic sampling method. There, what you do is you uh, you pick the every nth number, right? So it's like you you have a database, you have a list of people, right? One, one, two, three, four, five, whatever. Uh, doesn't even have to be numbered, but let, let's say that it is numbered. And then what you say, you say, I'm going to pick the pick uh, every 10th person. So you will say one, you take the first person, then uh, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, 10th person, that person you pick. And again, from that, you count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10, you pick the 10th person, right? So it's the, it's, it's the nth person that you pick. How you how you uh, decide that number n is usually uh, you have a sample, right? You have a sample of let's say two hundred people, and then you have a population, right? Let's say uh, uh, twenty thousand. Uh, you divide. Uh, let's say 2000 right for for sort of you know understanding the ease of understanding and then what you what you do is you divide the population by the sample size right so 2000 divided by 200 is 10 so they so 10 you take 10 as your n in number n right and you select the, select every n person very simple so stratified is you you stratify or, or uh, separate people based on some characteristics. You you might uh, divide the database into men and women, male, female, or you might uh, you know uh, use a, a, another variable like uh, the income levels or age. You'll say. 20 to 31 uh, strata, uh, 31 to uh, 40, another strata, and so on, right? And then what you'll do is you will pick 
uh, random people from each of these uh, groups. Okay. A cluster uh, sampling is, is, is somewhat similar to um, uh, stratified. Uh, what, what, what you do is you make clusters of people uh, uh, with different uh, variables. And then instead of picking one person, you pick clusters uh, to get your sample. All right. If, if, if anything is not clear, guys, please ask, okay? Um, so, in terms of convenience sample, very easy. What you do is, if you are the person who is doing the research, you pick people based on your convenience. Right. You're not using any sort of random or uh, 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 any other sampling method that we that we discussed earlier, systematic or stratified or whatever. You just pick people that is that that you know that that you know maybe that that is easier for you to uh, contact and communicate. So it's it's you know based on your convenience. The other way is that voluntary response sample that you ask people to volunteer, right? And based on uh, people's uh, interest of, of taking part in the in the research, you use them. So you can sort of maybe, you know, ask on Facebook or on, on some kind of online group or a WhatsApp group that you know I have this particular research and I'm looking uh, for ten volunteers. Uh, to spend one hour with me answering certain questions, uh, who would like to volunteer? And then people will volunteer and then you use them, right? Uh, the other one is sort of purposive uh, sampling. That is you, you purposely select people. It is in your, ju you, you judge, right? You say, okay, for this research, I need to research that particular person. I need to interview that particular professor. I need to interview that particular business leader. I need to interview that particular consumer. So you will sort of, based on your purpose, you will pick people. The other one is called the snowball uh, sampling method. What, what you do, that this, this is kind of used for sort of very niche high end kind of uh, sampling when, when especially you don't you don't have a database of people and you don't know who to uh, who to even talk to right so what you do is you you interview somebody first and then you ask that person uh, uh, to give a few names of people that uh, that he or she would uh, recommend for this in, for this research right so for example if if you have to do a research which involves uh, luxury luxury cars, car buyers or luxury boat buyers or you know sort of you know very sort of high end people, you 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 might not have a database of such people, right? Because they're you know they don't give their data and they are not available uh, anyway in the society. So what you do is you first you find one person first, right? And then you somehow, you know, uh, get him to agree to uh, talk to you. And, uh, and you, you interview that person or, or talk to that person, ask a few questions, uh, whatever you want to do in your research. And then you ask that person, can you recommend uh, uh, maybe a, a friend of yours who has uh, who, who has other, uh, a luxury car or who, who likes luxury cars, who's, who's driving luxury cars. Can you, can you give a couple of other people that, that you know? And then obviously, you know, uh, or in most the chances are if, if that person is a sort of a luxury car uh, enthusiast, he or she will, will have a few friends and they will recommend those people. And then you contact them and, uh, and again, you repeat that you ask them who else uh, should you be talking to. So that's like, so it's like snowballing, right? You start very small, 
with a small snowball and you when you, when you sort of push it on the snow it gets bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger so that your your sample uh, increases like